Aloha. I'm Professor Jay, and I'm going to give you a quick walk through our Online Law 101 course so you can see how it's set up and organized for you. If you're taking this course during the fall or spring semesters, there will be one lesson for each of the 15 weeks in the semester. If you're taking the course during the compressed six-week summer session, you will have two or three lessons for each week of class. The course coverage is the same, no matter which semester you're taking the course. The first thing that I hope you'll notice is that each of the lessons is set up in a similar fashion. Here's a quick scroll of week one, week two, week three, and week four. There will always be an introduction in the upper left-hand side of the page that will go over what we're going to cover. On the right-hand side of the page, at the top, you'll see a checklist that you can use to make sure you've done everything in that lesson. The useful thing about this is that the checklist will persist even after you log out, so you can come to Laulima as many times as you want for each lesson, and the checklist will persist as a visual reminder of what you have done and what's left for each week. As there's no textbook for Law 101, I've created a vocabulary video for the first nine lessons to help familiarize you with the key legal vocabulary that you're going to need in that week's lesson. Below that, you'll see the videos that I've either prepared for you or that I've curated from other websites. These videos will give you the meat of the lesson. I often also add an interactive lesson called a storyline. In those, you'll follow attorney Nicole and paralegal Rosie as they deal with various legal issues. There will always be a discussion board covering some aspect of what we've done in class. You will have one week to participate in each discussion, and then the discussion board automatically locks. As the primary purpose of this discussion is for you to develop your legal analytical skills through discussion with your classmates, the discussion board is only open for one week, and after it closes, it is not reopened as the class has moved on to the next lesson. Therefore, please make sure always to do the discussion board on time. As this is an introductory course, you're graded on your participation in the discussion, not whether you get the answer right. Last, there will be either a quiz or an assignment. You can take the quiz only once during the week that it is assigned, and you'll access this by clicking on the quizzes link in the left-hand navbar. For the assignments, three of them are set in the fictitious law firm of Carr and Ogata, and you will learn how to write a simple legal memo for them using the IRAC format. Each assignment will start off with your law firm partner explaining the assignment to you. Welcome to the firm of Carr and Ogata. I'm Don Johnston, the paralegal manager. And then you will have four documents, the assignment memo from the partner, a rubric for grading the assignment, a sample assignment to give you an idea of what to do, and then a crosswalk showing you how the elements in the sample memo correspond to the rubric. Again, you'll have one week for each assignment. You'll know that you're at the end of the lesson when you see the preview of the next week's class. Your grade is based on how many points you earn through the discussions, the quizzes, and the assignments. This class is not graded on a curve, so you are not competing with your classmate for points. Rather, your grade depends on your own timely accomplishments. If you keep up with each lesson, it is easy to do well in Law 101. I really enjoy teaching this class, and I look forward to meeting you online.